You might remember last week we decorated with fruit. Well, hey, this week, why not veggies? Let's take a look at our Southern Table segment with the gals. It's courtesy, of course, of Ingalls. Hey, y'all, I'm Erin Barnett. And I'm Kelly Smith. Here in the South, the table is a symbol of family and friendship, a place together with the ones we love. And there's always a place for you, right here at the Southern Table, presented by Ingalls. Hello, hello to you, and welcome to the Southern Table. You know, here in the South, we love to create beautiful tables that are inviting for our guests. Yes, and we are basically creating a beautiful garden party look for you using beautiful, fresh produce from Ingalls today. Uh, and everything out here is just spectacular. Ingalls has the best produce. We're gonna get things started, but we made the centerpiece first and we love everything We've about it. We've been wanting to do this for a long time and it's really easy to make. You're just gonna need a couple bags of carrots, clean those off, and you line your vase, a clear vase, with those carrots. And then in the center is our bok choy, which we jokingly never cooked with bok choy, but now we've decorated with it. Um, and then you just add stems of herbs, uh, parsley around the top. I love this. It's beautiful and it smells fantastic. It really does. And it is the perfect Easter centerpiece for the tablescape we're creating today. As you mentioned, this looks like a beautiful recipe that's we're about to come together. We're not making a salad, though. You know us better than that, though. Right. We're <laughs> going to decorate with these. We're starting with the bok choy again, and we're just going to layer on our table these beautiful leaves across the table. This is really fun to it create, too. It is, and too. it's very inexpensive, too. And, and you get this beautiful, fresh, crisp look for a spring party, maybe, or just your Sunday dinner. Absolutely. Make it fun and fabulous, right? Okay, the more the okay. merrier. You know how this goes. So this, this goes a long way, too. Continue to creating around your table. And we have some other beautiful things we're going to add. The artichokes. The artichokes. They're so fun. Ingles has the most beautiful artichokes. And the radishes. I love the Just radishes. Just a pop of color. So pretty. And then lots of great fresh lettuce you can choose from. Absolutely. And we just kind of scanned around to see what color spoke to us. We loved the red cabbage. Absolutely. All of these well. things just add those different textures and layers to your table. And it looks so pretty. It is. You can even slice those cabbages open to give it a fresh cut look. Yes, we did talk about that. I think this is pretty in the front. And then later I'll make a salad for you. Yes. How about that? <laughs> exactly. So we're going to go ahead and put our centerpiece in the center and then layer with and the rest of our yeah. lettuce. And you can even throw in some extra carrots if you would like. Um, really just build a little garden in the center of your table. It's such a fun look. It and it, it, it does say bringing the outside right. inside to Especially your table. Especially if you're ready to get to gardening. This is kind of a fun <laughs> way to get, get excited about that. And we are itching to spring, yes. itching. Now, if you wanted to cook with this, you could, right? Absolutely, girl. I'll make you a salad. <laughs> of course, Kelly has to add her little bunny in the front. Oh, I love of it. Of course. So cute. Every Easter table has yes. the perfect bunny. Ready. And remember, there's always a place for you at the Southern Table. Presented by Ingalls. We'll see you next time.